hey y'all hey how you doing how you doing y'all it's been a day so far this a day i dropped the drink let me get my ketchup out of here anyway yeah y'all i took my daughter to get a um rental car and i um said let me um stop and get me some lunch because i hadn't eaten I have to tell y'all about my situation going on here. So I stopped at Zagbis and trying to, I just, I was, need to finish packing real quick. I've never had this sandwich, so I don't even know how it tastes, y'all. I, um, uh, how y'all doing? Did I say that already? Anyway, let me say my grace real quick and I'll tell y'all. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for the many blessings, dear Lord. I thank you for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. I, um, uh, stayed up late last night, y'all, so... I woke up late, didn't get what I was supposed to be done this early this morning, so I'm going to have to set the alarm because we're getting on the highway in the morning. And, um, uh, oh, I ain't tell y'all what I have. I tried this raging, raging chicken, and that's what it looked like on the inside. It looked like some type of hot sauce and ranch on a toast, on a toast. I just saw it up there and it was looking all good. I didn't go there with nothing in mind to get. No, nothing. Because y'all know, I know to get the salad. Or either I'll get the wings and things. And I said, since you're little starting your little mini vacation, you might as well go on and try something tonight. I mean, different today. So... That's what I'm doing. I um, I want to talk zero because I got the meal. I don't remember what number it was. Three or three, I think. So I don't know. My daughter asked me to look for her keys because she thinks she left her keys. So. She had to go back to work. She went to pick up a car on the lunch break. So, yeah, y'all. As y'all can see my hair. Oh, Jesus. Y'all. I, uh, I, uh, I don't even get me started on my hair. Me and the wigs fall out when it get hot for a minute. <laughs> So I said, look, I need to get my hair braided. I, need, I don't feel like doing it myself. I, uh, I need to do something. So for about two weeks now, I've been wearing my hair out, right? Natural. I've been natural, y'all, for this, this is the, was the second time around. I know for the last six or seven years. Well, y'all, I uh, my hair feels so funny. So I was going back and forth, and I told my daughter, I think I'm either cut it off or put a relax in it. I'm going to cut it back all the way down. Because it's getting ready to get hot. And I'm, um, I'm going to do something. So I put this relax in myself about 2 o'clock this morning. And I, um, I put it in my basket at Walmart. I take it out. Put it in and take it out. It's real lifeless right now. It ain't that straight either. Put it in and take it out. Put it in and take it out. Y'all, I went on yesterday. I was like, I got up. Was it yesterday? It was the day before yesterday. And I had to go out. And it was like, I was putting all this edge control on my hair and the grays out of control. So, it won't lay right for nothing. Putting all this product in, I'm like, I'm about sick of this trying to detangle the stuff again. 
I said, this ain't going to work. You want to make up your mind, you going to cut it all off, or you going to uh, go do the relaxing. And I said, you know what? I ain't had no relaxing years. I'm going to go on it. So I ordered the relaxer. I went on order it. I told my daughter. I was telling her about it. And she said, Mama, I'm back there myself now. But she didn't say she was going to cut hers all off. She said she was going to. Because her hair may be a little bit longer than mine. And I, um, she ain't never cut hers all off. She said she ain't done it in her. <laughs> she funny. I done cut mine off about three times. And so she, um. So you got to make up in your mind what you're going to do. And she asked me last night, you going to do your hair? And I kept saying, well, I don't know. I don't know. Even though I had to perm hair. And I don't know what I was doing last night. My hair started to itch. So I said, no, you can't be scratching if you're going to go on and do it. Mm. I'm making a hot mess. So... As you can see, I went on and did it. And I started clipping the ends. But I realized my method of clipping is real ghetto fabulous. Um, and I thought your hair going to be uneven if you don't stop. So about the fifth clip. About four, about maybe six. I stopped. And I used to wear my hair wrapped all the time. So, of course, when it, it ain't clipped right, it don't look right. So, it'll be on a ponytail all weekend. So, I, I was going to see if I get my little sister, who went to college, college school, to uh, get her, the whole hub. But I said I was going to go with her. She's not going with us tomorrow. Um, There's two of my other sisters going. And uh, so, I said, you know what? I'm just going to leave this alone. I'm going to throw this in the ponytail. And then I can't find my darn. I don't know if y'all can see it. I can't find my darn black hat. Nowhere. But anyway. And it's flat. And I couldn't find my rollers, my curling iron. I done packed it up somewhere. I don't know what box it's in. So it's just lifeless. Um... I prefer to roller set my hair when I'm my big dryer that I sit up under was in the thing. So I actually blow dry last because it was so late. I wasn't going to be with no wet head. Didn't have no dryer to sit under, so I ended up blow drying because I did have that blow dryer was out. But so I said, I'm just gonna wear a ponytail while we on the road. And See if I can get me some flexi rods or something. So it's going to have some kind of body. You know, your hair feels so light when you... Like I said, it's been a minute since I had a perm, so... I, um... It feels weird. But I'll get used to it. And I know it's not, but it feels thin to me. I don't know why. I guess because I'm so used to being natural and how I've been wearing it. I've been wearing my own hair for two weeks, so. But anyway. So what y'all got going on then? I see two of the light bulbs and when you're out above this table. And my daughter may have to get her to get up in a chair on the ladder. I do have a ladder. And change him. I'll get my brother when he come over here. He's six, two and a half. I saw him. He could do it. To change him. Yeah. When my daughter get back over here, I'm going to look in that car. She got a camera she rented. 
I ain't in no market for no cup. They look all fancy now. And when she called me and asked me about her keys, uh, she I said, I'll do this. It doesn't have any more bells and whistles because, you know, I got a 2012 model. I was just joking with her. <laughs> I said, who it make me want another camera? But you don't. Mama, you don't need no camera. I said, I sure don't because that's how I paid for well, you right. I don't need no car note. It just was it was looking cute. And I, I said, if anything, if I got a car, well, I ain't feeling about nothing. Now I'm trying to move my house. And I'm going to take the brother there for a couple of years before I even think about going to do a car. Unless I win a lottery or something like that. It'll look cooler here than normal. So I hope. Texas weather sometimes similar to here. So I'm hoping that it don't it'll be kind of a little bit warmer. Sometimes it's like five degrees warmer. I ain't even check the weather. <clears throat> Let's see what it was going to be like. Mm. As y'all can see, I eat this sandwich, right? Real quick. I, um, it was all right. I don't know if I'd get it again. because I don't get this stuff that often, no way. I don't know if I would necessarily get this again. I wouldn't. It ain't nothing that's so spectacular that I'd be trying to just going to go get it. You know what I'm saying? If y'all eat at Zazzle's, what do y'all normally get? Anyway. Y'all, it took them about 15 minutes, right? To go get the rental car. When my daughter was getting the car. And I'm like, what they doing? She said, Mama, they said they had to sanitize and clean the car. Because when we pulled up, I saw the guy, I said, that must be an old man. I wasn't trying to be funny, but, you know, young guys wear tennis shoes or whatever. This dude was out there in his dress shoes. He was bent over, so I couldn't see his face. I said, Amber, that must be an old man out there cleaning the cars. He had dress shoes. She said, no, Mama, he pretty young. She said, but the pregnant woman in there, because she was cleaning the car, too. I said, what? So the cleaner, evidently, the detailer person didn't show up. Because it took them, they had to clean her car and wash. He had washed it, and she was over there bending down, vacuuming, and all of that. I said, oh, okay. And so I was telling my daughter, I said, when she go around the car, you go around taking pictures of the car, too. Why is she doing? So she said, Mama, uh, they email you the pictures now. I said, because if you, you get back, I said, you take pictures while she doing, you can't drive off the lot taking pictures. I said, because if you get back and it's a ding or something on that car, because I saw a lady pull off and I saw scratches on her, on that car. I said, and they said something you did. I said, you don't want that to happen. So she said, they're going to email me the pictures they took. I said, oh, okay. Well, they don't want no problem. <laughs> but anyway, y'all yeah, going to get off here <clears throat> and finish packing my little bag. But anyway, I just want to kind of stop in and talk to y'all for a minute. And like I said, I try to check in with y'all on the road. We stayed at a different hotel. I've never stayed at. I can't even think of the name of the hotel. Anyway, I'll tell y'all. I'll show y'all the hotel when we get there. It's like a little apartment side style. But anyway, I'll talk to you later. Love you much. But God loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love y'all. Bye.